you know, sometimes you just want that basic cheeseburger. Nothing crazy about it. Just a good burger patty with cheese and a little bit of mayo, mustard, or whatever. Maybe some onion, some pickle. That's exactly what I made here. And let me tell you, this thing is amazing. And I'm going to show you how to do it right now. So for me, I want some butter buns. So I'm just going to take these two brioche buns and just cover the top in butter. Just like that. I'm going to throw them on the barbecuer at 400 degrees. I have the barbecuer set at 400 degrees. So I'm just going to take the buns and put them on the indirect heat side and cover them back up for about 20 minutes. For our burger, I went with Snake River Farms Wagyu Beef. It's a local company for me. Tried their product before, it's absolutely fantastic, but I thought it'd be really cool to just have a Wagyu Beef hamburger. Just gonna kinda cube it. Flatten them down a little bit. Sometimes when you do it this manual way, they need a little extra help. It's just about right. For our seasoning, I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm just doing my buddy Rick Galindo's Texas barbecue seasoning. Now we're going to throw these onto the Weber kettle, cook them at 400 degrees for about three minutes each side. Our burgers are going over the direct heat. Like I said, they're going to stay here for about three or four minutes. Buns are coming along nicely. It's been about four minutes. Flip the burgers. Great. Excellent. Coming along really well. Give them another four minutes. Well, another four minutes are down. And I think it's time to take our burgers off to the side. Remember, there's going to be some shrinkage. Yeah, I said shrinkage. I'm going to throw some American cheese onto these. Let that cheese just kind of drip over. I'm going to take these off. I think it's time to take this first one off. Because I'm using Wagyu beef, all the fat in there, I did get a lot of shrinkage, but I did cut it open because I want to show you guys the inside of this. To me, that's just about perfect. Now the bun is still hot, nice and steamy. Just about perfect for me. I'm gonna add some mustard. Some mayo onto this. Onion. I think I need a little more onion. Some diced pickles that I made. Put them together. That, my friends, is just the burger that I want. We use Snake River Farms Wagyu Beef to make our burgers. We already took a look at the inside, just about perfect. Now, this burger, of course, we use a brioche bun. We covered it with butter, let it sit, and the bun is still steaming warm inside. This is something that I like. I can hardly wait to try this. It's just a basic cheeseburger. Other than the Wagyu Beef, there's nothing really special about it, and sometimes that's what you want. Try for some deliciousness. Holy moly, that's very, very good. The taste of the burger comes through, but you also get that butter bun. You get a little bit of the mayo, mustard. We didn't put a lot on the onions, pickles, cheese. Just a perfect cheeseburger, in my opinion. Mmm. This really does have comfort food written all over it. All right, there we made it. Talk to you on the next episode of Dinnerino Out.